Welcome to Knowledge Graphs. This is lecture number one, Knowledge Representation with Graphs. This lecture will be presented by me, Harald Sack, and Tabea Tietz, and Entan and Masa Wafaye. Okay, so what are we going to talk about? We start with data. You will see that data alone is of no use at all. It's raw and you can't make any sense of it if you don't have further information. And you will see in the very first part of the lecture how we get from data over information to knowledge and finally potentially also to wisdom. So knowledge is the central focus of this lecture series. And of course we have to talk about knowledge and how to represent it. Yes, and in the next lecture we will talk about the art of understanding. So what makes language ambiguous and what does it actually mean to understand? Of course we will see, as you said, language is rather highly ambiguous and therefore not necessarily the best means for representing knowledge. We need something more formal. And before we go into that we will talk about graphs and triples, by which we will introduce a rather intuitive form of representing information and knowledge. But before we can really then make the machine understand that kind of information and knowledge we are inducing, we have to also introduce formal knowledge representation by which in the end we will finally come to what is, what is called knowledge graphs. And in knowledge graphs, of course, this explicit semantics based on formal knowledge representation is based on so-called ontologies. And these ontologies, together with the graphs you see there, form something which is called the semantic web, which is, of course, not a new web, but it's an extension of the current web, by which, of course, then each single piece of information in there is given a specific explicit meaning that can be accessed and understood by the machine. And in the last lecture of this week, we will take a look at linked data and the web of data. We will learn what linked data and the web of data actually is, um, how large it has become and why we really need it on the web. Yes, and next to the lectures, we also have hands-on sessions prepared for you, where we will see practically how we can make use of everything that we have learned. In the first hands-on we will take a look at graph creation from text. So we have a, a small paragraph and we will see simply as humans and intuitively how can we create a simple knowledge graph out of that. In the second hands-on this will be our first Python notebook where we will show you how the manual creation of graph from text proceeds from a raw text to the different natural language processing such as tokenization, syntactic analysis which includes part of speech tagging, dependency parsing as well as named entity recognition. In the last notebook for this week we will show you things about semantic ambiguities, word sense disambiguation using LESC algorithm as well as WordNet and SynSets. Yes, and this is everything that we have prepared for you for the first week of Knowledge Graphs. And now um, we wish you a lot of fun with our first lecture, From Data to Knowledge. <laughs>